you think of when you're going out of press night tonight? You know, uh, I just feel the uh, intense sort of concentration on the music. Thank you so much for that. It's great. It's really wonderful. And then, then I can, we can all relax and like give you our our best bits. You know. So when I was at um, school, I was at grammar school, uh, it was called the Royal Grammar School, and I know it sounds very fancy and, and posh, and it was opened by the Queen. Um, well, the new part, the, you know, it was a very, very old school, but it wasn't, it wasn't a private school, it was a public school. Um, I know it's different in America. But in, in other words, you didn't have to pay to go. Um, you got in on merit, you know. And uh, so that's the school I went to, and I, I um, it actually was my mother who, 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 who got me in. We'd been living in Canada, and uh, we moved back to the UK, and she really wanted me to go to this school, and she just marched into the headmaster's office and said, he's, he's got to come here, he's got to come to this school. That's what she was like. Thelma, I don't know if you, you knew her, but she's passed away now. <laughs> she she ran, the, ran the fan club for decades, and uh, it was amazing. Developed relationships with so many people. Yeah. An amazing woman. I'm so lucky to have her as my mum. Anyway, so I went to the school and it came to a time where you choose, you know, the subjects you want to do. So um, I obviously wanted to do music because, um, you know, I was absolutely obsessed with it. I was practicing the piano for four hours a day. I was driving my entire family insane in a very small house. And probably most of the neighbours as well. Um, can you imagine that front room? There's a piano, right? That's where the TV is, and I'm in there four hours a day practicing. You know, doing all this. anyway. So I wanted to do music label. So I, I go to the, the head of music, the music master, and he said, "No, you can't do it." Uh, and I don't know what it was. He didn't like the look of me or something. Um, I, maybe my hair was a bit long. Um, maybe I was a bit, you know, of a rebel slightly. Um, and I said to him, well, but yeah, but you know, I've got like grade eight piano, that's the highest grade you could get in the UK. And, you know, before you go on to a teaching diploma. And I'd, I'd, I'd got this and he didn't believe me. And he kind of dragged me upstairs to the Queen's Hall uh, where there was a lovely grand piano. And so, or I said, come on, play me something. So I played him some I, I can't remember if it was Brahms or Bartok or something, and he almost fell off his chair because um, <clears throat> uh, he, he thought I was just lying to him. Um, anyway, I've, this, these authority figures, you know, you've got to fight against them, haven't you? Really? But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, he still said no. He still said no, don't like the, you know, he didn't like the look of me, he didn't want me on his elite, you know music program so you know what i'm really grateful to him now because because he made me so angry that i turned that anger into like this like oh, i'm going to show you i'm going to show you and I, I worked really hard to get into music college myself i did um physics maths and biology instead of music i should have been doing music but you know i was playing in bands and i was having a way of time um, and I got, into, I got into music college. But, you know, so the school really didn't support my music ambitions at all. Fast forward to sort of two, three decades later, I get a call from the Royal Grammar School, High Wycombe, saying, um, would you come and um, open our new music department? You know, it's going to be a plaque on the wall, and we want you to open it. And, uh, you know, so, you know, we, you know, we were talking about the long game. Yeah. <laughs> the thing. So that, that, and I said to them, well, you know, you wouldn't let me do music A-level, you know. And I uh, said, no, we still want it. We're really sorry about that. Really sorry about that. Yeah. That's all the past. That was all the past. That guy's not here anymore. Um, please come and please come and do it. So I, you know, I ended up going in front of all the parents and everything, opening the new music department and opening. And the only other person with a plaque um, at that school um, is the Queen. So there we go. <laughs> so 
So I suppose what you've got to say is, you know, you've got to keep going, haven't you? And, uh, and don't let people put you off. And in fact, when people do try and put you off, is you've got to just use it as fuel. <laughs> I'm really grateful to him. I, I honestly say that to you now. It wasn't at the time, but now I think oh, he, he gave me some fire in my belly. This is something I'd like to get to know you well. Oh, <laughs> 